hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is vulcan initialization failure unable to initialize vulcan swap chain so if you're receiving this error with the game then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to if you're using obs application close it and uninstall obs so if you're running it make a right click and then click on exit and then you can go to windows settings and then go to install apps apps and then go to install apps now over here find obs and then you can uninstall it after you uninstall it restart you can be here. and after the system restart you can launch the game if you want to reinstall office after once you're done playing the game you can always reinstall obs now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website now go to nvidia website select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on start search and then at the very top you will see the latest graphic card driver and then click on get download download and once the download is complete run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next after the clean installation restart you can be and after the system restart launch the game next step is to now amd card users uninstall the current graphic card driver restart you can be go to amd website select your graphic card install it restart you can be and then check next step is to rename this vulcan dash one dot dll file to vulcan dash dot dll underscore off now for this you can go to game manage browse local files open binaries and then here you can see this vulcan file make a right click on this vulcan dll file and then you can rename it you can rename it underscore off and then you can launch the game and then check if you face any problem you can always uh, if you want you can create a backup first if you face any problem just you can revert to the original file now the next step is to close or uninstall this application now let me show you like before you rename this uh, if you want to revert to original just remove underscore off and it will be back to original file if you want you can even create a backup copy this paste it to the desktop and then you can make a right click and then you can uh, rename this now if you have these application like fps monitor you can close it uninstall this application so to uninstall it again you can go to windows settings and then go to apps and go to install apps and then over here you can search for fps monitor i don't have this application installed if you have it you can uninstall it if you have metal you can turn it off so you can even uninstall metal application and then check obs we have already done if you have overwolf bonjour nahimik so uninstall this application and then restart your computer after you uninstall it and make sure uh, if if you have a fps monitor you can go to this location and check if there is folder for fps monitor you can just delete it so you can go to this location if you have this application and then you can delete it from this location now the next step is to uninstall this opencl opengl and vulcan pack now for this you can open windows settings and then go to apps install apps and find this open opengl file so if you have this opencl opengl vulcan pack make a um, click on this three dot and then click on uninstall uninstall now once the uninstall is complete restart you can be after the system restart you can launch the game and then check if you want to install it you can install it back from this link the link is provided in the video description you can just install it you can download it from the microsoft store once you are done playing the game if you if you need it you can install it from microsoft store and then check still not working uh, the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files go to steam make a right click in the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working set full screen to false in graphics settings now for this go to steam make a right click on the game manage browse local files open binaries settings here you can see graphics settings file make a right click and then open with notepad and over here you can see full screen 
if the value is set to false as uh, true you can type in false over here like this and then go to file click on save and then launch the game still not working the next step is to rename or delete this the graphics settings file before you do this let me inform you all the saved settings will be lost to do so go to the same location make a right click you can delete it or you can rename it and then you can launch the game and then click on now launch the game and then check still not working stop the audio service uh, before launching the game and enable the audio as soon as you launch the game now for this uh, you can type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows audio in the list here you can see windows audio make a right click on windows audio and then click on stop can start the audio service and then you can check let me close the game for now still not working the next step is to delete everything in this location now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open program data if you don't see program data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open program data now find nvidia folder open nvidia folder ngx folder models folder and delete the content of this folder and then relaunch the game still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 close it launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you remove this follow the next step now the next step is to rename or delete this sl.pcl.dll uh, file make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then open binaries folder and over here you will see slpcl.dll file you can just if you want you can create a backup and then you can just rename this and then launch the game still not working the next step is to disable steam cloud and rename the save game files now for this make a right click on the game go to properties turn off the option which is steam cloud and then go to the game uh, go to the file explorer go to this pc open c drive users username app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the roaming folder open hello games folder and over here you can see nms file so copy this create a backup first once you have a backup created now you can just rename this nms folder make a right click when you do so all the you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you already have a backup so make a right click over here and then you can click on rename and then you can rename it you have to start everything from scratch after this and once you are able to launch the game launch the game once you are able to launch the game if you want you can turn on the steam cloud and you can put the uh, you can like you can put the original file save game files back over here and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder make a right click on the game manage browse local files open binaries folder make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working go to properties once again now if this is checked over here you can uncheck this box hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if it is already unchecked then you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can even try windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game click on change high dps settings if not working put a check over here put a check over here click on ok apply okay and launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes uncheck these boxes click on okay hit apply click on okay 
follow the next step now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder in my case this is the location select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here find the game click on the game over here select over here high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security go to pvc and security windows security and then click on virus on threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through controller access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open now you can launch the game do the same thing if you have any third party antivirus install visual c++ file now for this in, you can go to google search just search for visual c++ file you can go to official microsoft website and then scroll down here you can see visual studio files scroll down you will see this x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on it and then run the exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well run this exe file if you see again repair or install what do you see and let the installation complete once both the files are installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart and launch the game still not working the next step is to perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all then hit apply click on ok restart your computer and then you can check still not working update windows to the latest version go to windows update or update and security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working disable steam overlay for this make our click on the green select properties turn off the option if this is on turn it off and then close all the other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and then you can go to settings you will find settings in nvidia app and then turn off nvidia overlay and then close all the overlay application close nvidia app hook discord everything close all the overclocking application like if you have first of all do not overclock if you have overclocked you can set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reward tuner any other overlay application you can just close it if you have any third party application or services running close it unplug external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected disconnect multiple monitor unplug uh, if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt next step is to try power saver now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here uh, if you see power saver uh, in my case i have only balanced but in your case uh, you might see power saver so let me show you so you will see power saver you can select power saver and then you can relaunch the game and then check you even you, you can you will you can even switch to balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios next step is to skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game turn off dlss try window mode lower down video settings and then check if that does not work reset the graphics settings to default so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game uh, you can go to options go to options and then go to display and graphics scroll down here you can see entirelyzing now if this is set to dls you can turn this off now this has worked for many pl players so it might work for you so here you can see i turned it off now after you turn it off apply and then you can check still not working then try you can just select border over here and then lower down resolution and 
graphics quality if this is set to like uh, uh, enhanced you can set it to high you can even go for standard so set it to standard and then hit apply and then restart and then you can check still not working in that case uh, you can go to options once again go to display and graphics you can reset the graphics settings so click on reset to default click on yes and then restart your computer uh, restart the game and then you can check now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel